Velociraptors, like Blue, are one of the most popular dinosaurs today. You did it! Back then, raptors had sharp teeth and distinctive feet with oversized hooking claws. Experts believe raptors could run up to 40 miles per hour, which would make Blue and her siblings a welcome addition to your school track team. A velociraptor's main source of food was smaller dinosaurs, but in Lego Jurassic World, they're all about the treats. Everyone in the cage, get some beef jerky! Although today we exaggerate their size a bit, velociraptors were only about the size of a modern-day turkey. They even had feathers. In fact, did you know today's birds are actually dinosaurs' descendants? Imagine if Blue could fly! Another similarity between dinosaurs and birds? They both laid eggs. Even though dinosaurs went extinct about 66 million years ago, we're still finding their fossilized eggs today. Huh? Would you look at that? Decided to come out and see what all the commotion was, huh? The most famous dinosaur is probably Tyrannosaurus rex. Known for its giant body and teeny tiny arms, T-Rex used to be one of the most fearsome predators on the planet. My hot dogs! No! Yikes. Unfortunately, hot dogs were not on the menu in the Cretaceous period. Instead, T-Rex would snack on other dinosaurs. No matter your size, you always had to stand your ground. Nice one! The jaws of a T-Rex are around four feet long, and these bad boys and girls could eat up to 500 pounds in one bite! T-Rex might have been unstoppable, but in Lego Jurassic World, a trainer like Owen knows how to speak their language. Knock it off! You're not the alpha here. I am. Hey! Do not mess with me! Unbelievable. Whoa. Our next dino subject, Carnotaurus. Ah! Looking very similar to T-Rex, a unique feature of Carnotaurus is their horns. They also happen to have the smallest arms of any dinosaur on our list. That must have been super annoying. Not quite tiny arms. Oh, must be a pain when you have to scratch your back. You got that right. Pretty sure no one sold back scratchers 70 million years ago. Ah, another day in prehistoric paradise. What do I see next? <laughs> now, let's talk about Stiggy Moloch. Stiggy Moloch's, or Stiggies for short, were known for their unique dome-shaped skull, which made them masters of the headbutt. Whoa, you really know what you're doing, don't you? But in Lego Jurassic World, Stiggies are some of the friendliest dinos in the park. Stiggies don't attack humans. They're peaceful herbivores. That's right, Hudson. Stiggies are herbivores. They love to eat from bushes and trees that were low to the ground. Kind of like the Cretaceous period's version of a salad bar. I didn't know Stiggy Moloch's were so rad. So what's one of the largest dinosaurs on record and at Lego Jurassic World? Brachiosaurus. Reaching 85 feet tall, Brachiosaurus was about the same height as two and a quarter school buses stacked end to end, which obviously means these dinos had to walk to school. Bummer. Brachiosaurus was an herbivore, and their long necks allowed them to reach the treetops, giving them the best selection of leaves, which means they'd have no problem reaching those cookies mom hid on the top shelf. Next up, Triceratops. That sounds like a stampede. Triceratops is Greek for three-horned head, and they'd use those horns for protection, as well as moving things out of the way. By the crop, by the... Ah! Triceratops' skull grew up to seven feet wide. The top part is called a frill, which protected their necks when battling with other dinos. Our final dino isn't a dinosaur at all. Meet Pteranodon. <laughs> that tickles! <laughs> I think I'm gonna pee. <laughs> An ancient flying reptile whose name translates to toothless wing because it had no teeth. Weird, because they're carnivores, which makes me think they have really strong gums. They just gum their food right up, like my baby brother with a carrot. No, 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 I'm so disgusting. Looks like they were a permanent member of the No Cavity Club at the dentist. I'm the biggest fan of your species. Pteranodons had an average wingspan of between 13 to 20 feet long. That's twice as long as any living bird today. This made flying great distances a breeze. Where are all the... Although they mostly ate fish and other marine life, in Lego Jurassic World, pteranodons aren't picky. Now it's time to test your dino knowledge and see what you remember. I can handle anything anyone throws at me. Question one. How big was the jaw of T-Rex? A, four feet. B, three feet. 
C, 5 feet. That's right, 4 feet long. Question 2. What did T. rex and Carnotaurus eat? A. Leaves. B. Meat. C. Your homework. Meat. At least you'll have your homework for class now. Question 3. True or false? Some dinosaurs had feathers. True. Question 4. How did dinosaurs reproduce? A. They fell from the sky. B. By laying eggs. C. Came from the ground. By laying eggs. Question 5. True or false? The modern day descendants of dinosaurs are birds. True. Question 6. What animal was the same size as Velociraptor? A. Dog. B. Turkey. C. Elephant. A turkey. Gobble, gobble. Question 7. How tall was Brachiosaurus? A. 200 feet. B. 80 feet. C. 85 feet. 85 feet. Wow, that's tall. Question 8. What was the top part of Triceratops' skull called? A. Frill. B. Hat. C. Ruffle. A frill. Question 9. True or false? Pteranodon was a flying dinosaur. False, they were a flying reptile. Question 10. Which species had a dome-shaped skull? A. Carnotaurus. B. Stigmolic. C. Velociraptor. Stigmolic. If you got more than five right, you're a dino expert. Grab your walkie-talkie. You've earned a job at Lego Jurassic World. I'm an expert at this. If you got less than five right, it's time to brush up on the Lego Jurassic World exhibits. Take a VIP pass, and we'll see you next time.